Welcome to 20 Minutes Underground, your reptile show weekly, YouTube online thing. This week on 20 Minutes Underground, we look at bugs, all kinds of bugs. Bugs are the new thing, man. Everybody likes them. Back in the day when I was just doing this, we used to get these 20 plus years ago, we used to get these uh, pink toes that came out of Chile. They were really cool because you'd all keep them all together. We'd have cages, two, 300 pink toes in one cage. Look over there real quick. Ah! Got you! What are you looking at? Got you, Lily! That's why she's here. So if you like bugs, you like today's show. PD, the bug guy, we call him Pete the bug man. He's got a big ugly tattoo on his arm. It's a, it's a chick sitting on a bug. Ah. Bugs. One time I was hunting in upstate New York and we were hunting salamanders and sometimes they go up in the trees. And it was me, Zach, and who was the other guy that was with us? It was Greg. And one time, um, while we were looking in the tree bark, in the tree base, for some salamanders, we ripped it open, and these giant yellow jacks, these things had to be three or four inches long, started pouring out. It looked like you were pouring a glass of honey. They just started rolling out of there. And were screaming and running and biting us in the back of the ear. Good times. Oost. How's it going guys? Uh, Peter here at Underground Reptiles. I'm gonna be showing you guys some cool insects today. Right here, this is an Australian prickly stick insect. Really cool bug, herbivorous. They eat uh, rose leaves and bramble. They get up about six inches. You, you're gonna wanna do an arboreal setup. This is what we keep them in right here. Keep them in a cage like this. Get nice airflow in there. You can keep them communally. You can get a bunch of them living together. Incredible camouflage. You can see how he's moving back and forth like that. He's what he's trying to do is mimic a stick moving in the wind. All right, and right here we have a Philippine leaf insect. Tell me that's not the best camouflage thing you've ever seen. Just like the sticks are going to eat, they're herbivorous, so they're going to be eating. Uh, Rose leaves and barley, things like that. Um, was it barley feet? Uh, bramble. bramble, I'm sorry, bramble. We oh. keep them in the same kind of cage, um, good airflow, but these guys are gonna keep a little bit more humid than the sticks because they're, they're from the Philippines. Um, yeah, you can keep a bunch of them together, a bunch of leaves for them to climb on. We got a bunch of uh, rose in here that they're eating on. And just check that guy out. Look at him vibrate. Hey guys, Pete at Underground Reptiles, aka the Bug Man. Uh, got a really cool spider for you. This is actually a spiderling. Well, it's getting bigger, but you see how we keep them when it's a spiderling? You keep it in a small enclosure like this with some semi moist vermiculite or, or uh, moss or anything. Uh, as the spider grows, it's going to go into a bigger tank or a uh, larger deli cup or whatever. Like now he's. He's good in here for a little longer. Once he gets a little bit bigger like that, then we're gonna have to move it on. And he goes into something like, oh, something like this. It's a little wider and bigger. That spider's actually getting kind of large for that too. As, as a spider molts, it's gonna grow every time. So you don't have a lot of movement to bigger and bigger things. Uh, some people use these jars right here. These work as well too, more arboreal spiders. And then again, if it's gonna get bigger, so it's something like this till it's bigger. Then you can use fish tanks, exoterras, uh, which are big enclosures with the doors that open from the front. You can get in there and, and, and mess with them or whatever. You know, not mess with them, I mean, you know, gotta do your uh, maintenance and all that stuff. 
Um, so these are just temporarily. Like I said, these guys are actually, he's ready to be moved, he or she, and this one is actually ready to be moved as well because they're getting too big. But they're good for as babies. They can't get out. Um, they're easy to monitor. You can feed them in here. You can do your cleaning. That's a pretty spider. That's a, that's a um, the Brazilian white knee. They get pretty big size too. And they, they like to flick their little hairs, which gets really itchy. So you gotta be careful with that. Sometimes people like to handle them. I don't handle them. I don't like the hairs. The hairs don't like me, and I don't like them. So I keep them in their enclosures. It's safer and easier, because then if you pick up your spider, and all of a sudden he falls, or she falls, that's it. Burst the abdomen, gone. You don't want that to happen. So best to keep them in their enclosures. Uh, enjoy them the way they are, and they they do great. Less 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 playing with them, the happier they are. So this is Pete the Bugman signing off. I'm gonna go reptiles. Be good to your bugs, and your bugs will be good to you. Ciao. Hey guys, it's Marcos here from Underground. Uh, today I wanted to go over some instructional video on how we here at Underground pack up some of the shipments that we get from you guys. Um, I thought today an easy animal for me to go over with would be a bearded dragon. A lot of people place orders for bearded dragons. It is something um, that is really easy to pack. Um, big thing that we go on uh, at Underground is whether our temperatures on our, the destination is good to ship. We do have a minimum temperature that we go by. Um, I believe it's 26 degrees. We'll guarantee it to your door if we're going, not to our, your door, I'm sorry, to a facility. And it's 35 degrees to your door. Um, we'll guarantee your shipment. Um, now, we do not recommend shipping under those degrees because we want our animal that we're shipping to you guys to get there safe. And that's the biggest thing we go on. Uh, here at Underground. Um, so today I thought we could go over step by step and I'll show you how I would go ahead and pack up a baby bearded dragon. All right guys, so this is something I would pack a bearded baby bearded dragon in. This is just a little Tupperware that we get. Uh, comes with a lid and the, the deli. And you, as you guys can see, it has holes going all around the deli cup so our animal can breathe in and out of the cup. I have a little piece of paper towel here. Now this is just to absorb it. The, Baby bearded dragon goes to the bathroom or anything, it won't actually be sitting in its feces. So this will be a little piece of paper towel, it'll fold nicely in there, and our baby bearded dragon will then go ahead and sit inside this deli cup. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a baby bearded dragon, I'll be right back. All right guys, I have our baby bearded dragon here. Uh, this is a beautiful baby bearded dragon. This is a really high red bearded dragon. You guys see those colors? Holy moly. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how we're going to pack this thing. I, I go ahead and put this guy in and I put his tail in first so just in case he throws his tail up I don't close it in the deli. I'm just going to very gently close this lid, make sure it's nice and secure and that will be him inside our deli cup right there. And now depending on if it's the only animal in a box or is there other animals, it would, be this, it would determine what size box I'm going to go ahead and use. Um, if this is just the order, I'm probably going to use a 667. Now a 667, say I'm using a heat pack inside the order because say the temperatures are very, very low temperatures and we're packing for some cold weather packing, we'd therefore go ahead and use a heat pack. I actually have some heat packs here. This is one of our heat packs that we use. And now generally, depending on where it's going, I will either take that heat pack and put it at the top of the box so that he can rise and it's not gonna actually be rising up into the animal, it's just gonna be in the box. Or if I'm gonna pack it at the bottom of the box. So that's where it would be at the bottom of the box there. I put a very light layer of paper and I, and I try to fold it up into almost like a little ball and I make like a little pocket for the heat. It has like a little pocket for the heat to rise up into as so. I go ahead and lay that in there. 
So now the heat is gonna rise up into that. So where if I go ahead and put the baby bearded dragon inside, he's gonna be sitting ever so gently right on top. So where it's not gonna be touching the heat pack directly, so we don't want him to cook on there. And the hair, I mean the air inside and all the holes, that's gonna allow him to be able to breathe. I'm gonna go ahead and close off the styrofoam and I would go ahead and close it up. I tape it here, I tape it on the sides. Now I'm just gonna give you guys a demonstration. I use this all here and I only go so far in. I don't wanna poke the container. What would go next would be the whatever company we're shipping through. Say I'm going through UPS, I would therefore take a UPS label, strap it right on top with all your guys' information on it. I would make sure I'd have my scientific name on the side of the box because you need to have that when you're shipping animals. And then it would be ready to go. And I'd go ahead and bring it to our shipping table and it would be ready for pickup. Guys, this is our order form, okay? So right here on this order form, it says this guy's looking for a quantity of four female red-eye crocodile skinks. I'm gonna go ahead and pack up four red-eye crocodile skinks, so I'm out, therefore I would put them in one per deli cup, and I'm gonna go ahead and cross off the four, because that's how many they want. And the total quantity, I'm gonna write how many I went ahead and packed, a total of four. I'm gonna write the number four. The option, they're gonna be four females. I'm gonna highlight that. The product that it is, four red-eye crocodile skinks. I'll highlight that. Was the animal sex? Did it have to be sex? The answer would be yes. So I'm gonna highlight that. Now, there's an option here where it says boxed. I'm gonna go ahead and box the animal. I'd move down to what, where it says box size. Right here, what box size did I put it in? So I'm just gonna use an example. I'll write 1296. Now this box here, pulled by. Who pulled this animal? My signature, I put M. Everybody knows, Marcos packed it. Final approval, who approved it? It was Marcos, so I'm gonna go ahead and put another M there. Who sealed the box? Oh, looks like Marcos sealed the box. I'm putting another M. Did that box require a heat pack or a cold pack? I would go ahead and put a CP for cold pack, HP for a heat pack. That's pretty much what our order from looks like, and so that's the breakdown on how we make sure that we get that animal to your door. You guys have a good one. See ya. What's up, losers? It's your pal, Moody for your booty here. Because I got nothing better to do. You losers are still watching. We don't know why, but you're still watching. Anyways, this week we're gonna be for those trolls. But you guys aren't really trolling, so we thought we'd do something extra special for you losers. This week we got a commenter who's asking, like many of you wonderful fans out there, see Moody, Moody, you wanna see what I look like? You wanna prove your theories right? You wanna find out what this beautiful mug appears like? So we're gonna give you what you wish for. I don't know who the comment winner is. I don't care. We'll send you some free crap. Just email us. Anyways, in five, four, actually, hold on, wait, wait a second. I'm not gonna tell you. Like, I'll show you what I look like yet. First, let's think about it. What do you think I look like? Why do you care what I look like? How boring is your life that you want to see what some YouTube guy who makes fun of you look like? Anyways, I'll show you here in five, four, I think I tell those four, three, two, one. Ta-da! Gotcha, losers. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week, where I'll show you what I really look like. That's 20 minutes on the ground. Hope you guys enjoyed your time with us. We certainly did. We do it for you, because we love you. And we want you guys to have a good time. Ow. <laughs> Scratch my nut. <laughs> we want, to, want you to learn about animals. That's why we do this. It's just fun for us. It's just an enjoyable thing. And so many guys say they like it. So, if you did like it, stay with us. Keep sending your comments and suggestions. This week's question of the week is a very simple one. 
send us a picture of your favorite bug. Doesn't even have to be one that you uh, that you own. Just a, send a link or some send something in the comments section. Shows us a picture of your favorite bug. Top three, free crap. And as we know, free crap is good. Very good. Thanks again for watching. Keep up uh, the good work. And remember, don't buy it if you can't take care of it. Oh,